cows nearly ready to be delivered. This is where we're at. When the email goes out. Oh, Cobb, just shut up. up. You always disturb me. Well, Why do you want to just the shut your gob? I want to shut up then. Go. Well, if I'm being honest, I would say uh, it was possibly the single most uncomfortable experience I've had in my professional work and life. I'm uh, Matthew Newman, I'm a director of your film, and I was the producer and editor of the LinksCars.com TV adverts. The, uh, the idea for the adverts was really born out of a creative session that we had. All I'm saying. Do you want to shut your gob? Basically, we were trying to find a, a unique angle for Ling because she's a unique type of person and she does business through a pretty unique looking website. So we wanted to capture that feel and get across her personality in the ads. Well, what do you want me to gobbing off? Hi, I'm TV superstar Ling Valentine. Go. Well, anyone that would describe herself as speaking perfect Chinglish and supplies our clients with fukiu noodles as a welcome to doing business with her company. I would say it is uh, unique. I don't want to be TV superstar. Any suggesting to be TV superstar is objective. Who or what is John Valentine? John is Ling's uh, Svengali lover. You are a f her. You are a fat f her. Chief. One small. No, I think that'll do. Agitator. You're a bit hesitant. John, you can't do it. You, you just carry it going on. And husband. <laughs> you go. Well, it was really weird actually because um, because she's not an actor, but she's essentially going to be playing herself in the adverts. I mean, there's no one who's more Ling than Ling. She'd given us so much hassle over the uh, the script notes. She'd had this, the finished script for, I don't know, about seven months before we shot. So it was quite the surprise to show up on the set on the filming day and find that she hadn't actually read it. When you, when you speak Chinese, can you speak Chinese quicker? Can you get more out in Chinese than you can in English? I really don't know. I don't count. Yeah, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it was tin hats on set all day because uh, that Matchbox car got launched a few times. And between, and well, in all honesty, I knew that John was wearing a cricketer's box. Well, uh, it was suggested to us by Dave McPhee from Mia Mortals Post Production. Uh, he was the first one really to sit and watch the ads outside of, you know, friends and family. And uh, he had a good laugh. He, he thought they were different. And uh, he suggested that there might be the type of thing that awards judges were interested in because they were so uh, offbeat. So because of that, we decided we'll put them forward. And it's not like winning Oscar or something, is it? I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's good to win an award, it's good to be recognised, but frankly, it, it didn't bother me that much. It was, it was just sort of in and out and, you know, it's forgotten about, really.